There's all these different little creeks just running down. That is super pretty. And the main creek is down there. This must be coming down a, that Austin Canyon. These little creeks are actually really pretty deep. Each one that we have to cross. And the way the trail goes, it pretty much just zigzags. Right through this little creek bottom. <laughs> That's awesome. That is cold water. And that is a lot of water. I mean, we're getting pretty high now. There is a lot of water running down that. You'd have thought at this time of year that'd be nearly dry. So this is our Sitaway Creek Trail. There's packs in most of these weeds on this trail are as tall as he is. And there's really not much of a trail. You can see it's just a, a faint trail. I don't think he gets traveled much. Which is too bad because look at these views. Everybody's missing. How's the bushwhacking going? What? They're as tall as me. That's because you're a shrimp pile. Check out this sweet waterfall we just came up on. It's even coming down through the whole canyon. It's a lot of water still coming off there. This is a pretty tough trail. You can look. There's really not a lot of trail there that we just came up. We're having to fight these weeds. They're about as big as Paxton. So he's getting his lunch ate. There's like stinging nettle everywhere. Have to be really careful. It's way green up here. I can't believe how much water and how green it is. What do you think, bro? <laughs> this is a pretty tough hike. That waterfall is super cool looking. I had to walk up by the waterfall and take a video of it. It's pretty sweet. been fun to watch this thing slide though. Holy crap, it's just intense. Whew. It's like a battlefield for trees. Super slow going. Whew. What do you have to say? I'm tired. 
We just ate a little snack, some jerky and a granola bar, chugged a bunch of water, trying to get our energy and strength back up. We're gonna do this, we're gonna find that lake, huh? We're not giving up, we're finding the lake. Hang on with this. Next video, lake. We're gonna be lakeside. Yeah. This is super uh, steep. Oh. Not going to just going over the log. We didn't quite make it to the lake yet. We were just done. We might actually even just sleep right here. We're gonna eat and then decide how we feel to see if we're gonna keep going on around or just what we're gonna do. It's like 4.30 so we have time to take a good break and then decide where we're at. But we needed some food for sure. We're tired. What do you think, Pax? I don't need to be done. I'm so tired today. We're tired. It's been a rough day. I wouldn't say this has been fun actually. The trail system up here just sucks. That's the problem. That none of it's maintained. We basically bushwhacked for 10 miles and it's steep and nasty. Now we have water boiling, so that actually is making me feel a little bit better. I'm gonna go eat. Okay, we ate a lot. Jet boils bars, all sorts of food. We're feeling pretty good. And we're gonna go over that mountain. Cause that's where the lake, the infamous lake. The lake we've been chasing. It's supposed to be. Supposed to be. be there. It's the lake we've been chasing all day. We just gotta see, right? Uh -huh. We just can't not go. So even though we're super tired and there's all these trees to hang our hammocks from and it's like, Five o'clock or five thirty. We're doing it right. We're doing this. We don't know why, but we're doing this. We're doing this. Yep. Let's do this. So here's our lake. Woo! We made the lake packs. I made it to the hidden lake. The hidden lake. The lake with no name because nobody in the right mind would come here. Can I drop my pack? Yeah, drop your pack. We found the lake. I can't believe we found the lake. Or pond, really. But there it is. We made it. Whew. I don't know, what do you think? A little anticlimactic? Yeah. That was a whole lot of work for a pond. <laughs> oh, now it's time to find a place to hang our hammocks. All right. Oh, that sun. As you can see, we made it to camp. And this is as far as we got. <laughs> Made it to the lake. Yeah, the lake's just right there, like 20 feet. And we found two trees that were pretty close, so look, high five. Boom. High five. We're going to play chess on my phone. We like to play chess at night. This way we can lay in our hammock, hammocks and play chess. Because <laughs> we're so lazy, right? Honestly, we were too lazy to even play chess. We just wanted to lay here. We got our wet shoes off, drying our feet out, hung our socks up. We haven't even put our quilts or nothing on. We're just like here. And it is really nice. What do you have to say, Pax? Pax is trying to go to sleep. Somebody's got a... Okay. Bye.
right now I'm eating a dessert mountain house ice cream sandwich. <laughs> ice cream. Um, sorry guys. It's crunchy. Freeze dry ice cream sandwich. Yeah, how do I get See that? All right, it's Friday morning. We're just waking up. We really don't even want to wake up. In fact, Paxson's not awake. But the lake we've hunted all day for actually turned out to be pretty awesome this morning. Little man, little man, wake up, wake up. Mm -mm. I don't want to wake up. I'm a hammock here. Wake up, wake up, you sleepy head. Get up, get up, get out of bed. Because when the red, red robin comes, ba, 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 na, na. Singing his own sweet song. Time to wake up. I'm not ready to wake up. What? All right, we made it off the big steep hill, and we're just stopping in the shade right here to have a break. How you doing, Pax? Awesome. He, his stomach kind of eased up, got some water in him, and uh, now we're gonna have some more food because we didn't eat a big breakfast. We just got some cold water out of this creek. That water out of the lake, the lake, that caused us a lot of hiking. Um, we, it was kind of like warm. Not warm, but warmer, just because it was not flowing water. This down here is ice cold. Does it taste good? Oh yeah, it tastes really good. It's so good. So we saw this little trail off in the trees as we were coming down by the creek, and we were thinking, well, maybe that trail will wind us around so we came up here and it turned out to be a really awesome campsite like kind of almost developed campsite I don't think anyone's been here in years but there is a broken solar panel over there. yeah there's like a tub and some guys have been here for sure I'll bet you it was a like a hunting camp because this is big elk country up here and I'll bet you this is a hunting camp where guys have set up and Honestly, if you didn't want to get to the stupid lake, which we probably won't ever again, but I would come back to this spot. I'd this hike spot to here. Cool. I'd hike to here and camp in this little spot. It's nice. Pretty country. We're going to eat because we're hungry. Sweet. So we're here just grabbing some water. And what we've been using is just our platies with the Sawyer filter hooked right to it. Each of us have our own. So we can just pull right out. And what is super awesome about it is if our water gets warm or nasty, we come across the creek, we just pull it up, just go stuff out, drop it in. There we go. We really like the platies because they're light, but also where they're soft, they're easy to get in and out, and you can also squeeze them a little bit while you're drinking. So we're sitting here just relaxing, and Paxson informs me about something he would like to share with you. No, I don't. Come sounds, on. Sounds more sophisticated in his videos. He thinks I sound more sophisticated when I make these YouTube videos. So there you have it. I'm not very smart otherwise. But I'm no, pretty sophisticated. It's not that. <laughs> you just talk different. You talk slower. Oh. I d do I really? Like drag it on a little? Now you're back to normal. It depends. <laughs> Maybe I <laughs> talk slower. 
Thank you for watching this video. Now you just sound like a weirdo. <laughs> Go on this bushwhacking side because the trails really don't exist. We just have to go through. That's not even the worst. It's this plant right here. You touch that plant and your skin goes on fire. It just stings like crazy and it's everywhere. So like Paxton where he's shorter, he's wearing his quarter zip. And I try to knock it down as we go through. And we just have to plow through these meadows. All right, everybody. We're on the trail. We humped it hard today, didn't we, Pax? Yeah. We actually are about a mile from the pickup, which was our target campsite. As we said earlier, we had to be home early tomorrow because we have some other obligations. And we're just cruising down the trail. And since we only have a mile left, we're calling it. We are gonna head home, get a shower, and uh, then we won't have to be so pressed in the morning. So this is it for us. Thanks for coming along on our journey up Death Mountain to find the hidden lake. Ooh, and we found it! That we found, that we almost gave up on like 10,000 times. With the stupid stinging nettle. Oh, the stinging nettle. Oh my gosh. Our legs. No, we're not sure if it was stinging nettle, but whatever it was, it hurt. Yeah, pretty sure it was stinging nettle. But it, our legs are like raw, arms are raw. Probably ought to go home and get some anti itch cream on that stuff. So we're going to cruise out. Thank hope you. you like the views in the mountain. Any closing words, Pax? Uh, thank you for watching. Woo!